Hey guys, it's Shelly. Welcome back. Um, today's topic is going to be, it's not always about me. A lot of times it feels like it's always about me, but um, it's not. And I, this is something I've really been struggling with this past year or so because I'd say past this past year to 18 months has just been a lot of change going on and they say the change is good but it's also hard um i'm gonna try not to say hard so much uh, it's really hard i said that a lot in my first videos but it, it's hard it's hard um and as a middle school teacher i'm sure one of the little back uh, comments i would get from my uh male students is that's what she said but anyway um so that being said yes this past year and a half for me, there's been a lot of change going on. Some of it, um, some of the change was for the best, even though it may not have been easy, may have been, you know, you think things are going a certain way sometimes and then life throws you for a loop. But um, some of the changes were for the best. Others, not so much. Um, but yeah, change is just part of life, okay? But um as as we get older and, and as i talked a little bit about in the in the first um episode about our kids getting older and then making their own choices and choosing their path and all of that stuff that can be hard sometimes when you have had um whether you realize it or not um you've had uh in the back of your mind like a certain image of the way things would go so for instance with with my son um you know he's he's in his career now um but you know he, he just decided that college wasn't for him and it took him a little bit to figure out which route he wanted to go but ultimately um he decided to go into a trade and it's working out well for him and that's awesome you know and um and then also as i mentioned in my first um recording that uh, at that time, uh, my daughter was in school and she was having a real hard time figuring out what she wanted to do. Nothing really was like interesting her and, and she wasn't a fan of school. Um, and so she was like stressed out and not very happy, um, you know, trying to figure all of that out. And for um, a little while, she was in the um, uh, uh, software programming which I thought was cool because that's like, that's my thing. I love coding and, and uh, anything tech related. So I thought, oh, cool. If she went into this, you know, we'd have that in common, blah, 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 blah. You know, I could help her with her stuff and blah, blah. Anyway, it wasn't for her. And not only was that not for her, but she too decided that um, college wasn't for her. So it's really and this is where the is not it's not always about me comes in okay because as parents whether we realize it or not um you know we have these these visions these dreams or whatever that are ours for them <clears throat> excuse me but not theirs and when it doesn't go that way it, it's it's hard not to make it about you <laughs> And especially for me, because I'm really coming to grips with, I've always been a school person. I've always loved school. Um, you know, I'm a teacher. Um, I, I don't really want to say that I loved college, but I didn't mind it. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad for me. So, and then, you know, as your kids are growing up here, you know, you're always stressing them how important education is. And again, you know, I'm a teacher, so of course, you know, education is very important uh, to me. And so when not just one of your kids, <laughs> but both of your kids decide not to go to college, you I don't know, I, I took it hard. I took it hard. And it's stupid that I took it hard because as long as they're happy and as long as they're, um, you know, choosing something that they, um, uh, can you know make a living at and will give them security and all of that that's all that matters to me but um and yeah as it turns out um my daughter has decided to go into the same trade as 
uh, my dad was in and my husband and her brother. And so, um, I don't know, maybe the fact that, um, my son is in his, is getting closer to finishing up his, his third year and in the apprenticeship and is already, uh, clearing a salary that I cleared just maybe three or four years ago with a master's plus 32 and 15 years in my profession. Um, maybe that might have had a little bit to do with it. Um, so, I mean, admittedly, college isn't, isn't the guarantee that it used to be. Um, it, it's taking more and more education to um, achieve less uh, in, in the workplace. And, and then, you know, unfortunately, all, you know, all these young people are um, racking up student debt and sometimes for what? So um, I have always felt that, you know, we do need more, um, more education in the trades too, because college isn't for everybody. But that being said, um, yeah, I did, I did take it a little bit like, um, personally, which is totally stupid. Um, and, uh, I just kind of had this, uh, a couple of weeks ago, my poor husband, <laughs> I just had this total diarrhea of the mouth where it was just like all coming, all this change, um, was just like. I, you know, I thought that I was dealing well with it, and, and I think I was just, like, kind of pushing a lot of it back, um, and, you know, it was just, like, I, you know, I mentioned before in a prior recording that, you know, I lost my dad in July, so there was that, and other changes that went on, and, and now, you know, my daughter's not going to college like I thought she was going to, and then um, it's just all of this stuff and then I was just like oh my god I'm gonna be outnumbered now now it's, it's gonna be all electricians you guys are all gonna be talking together and I'm not gonna have anything to input I'm just gonna be this fourth wheel out here and I, it was just like I it was just coming out and um <laughs> and my poor husband was like well you know you can vent all you want I don't um but I don't have any advice for you and that is Perfect. Okay, so fellas, just so you know, when um, your wife or girlfriend or whatever is venting for you, I, I can't speak for all women, but I can pretty safely say she doesn't want you to give her advice <laughs> or try and fix it for her. I know that's like in a man's nature to want to try and fix things, you know, and make it better or whatever, kind of like parents are that way. But no, just... Just let us have our diary of the mouth and we're not expecting you to fix it. We're not looking for advice. It's just, we're just um, getting it out. So um, I thought that I would like get a little bit philosophical about some of this stuff because, um, you know, I feel like for the most part, I've always been kind of like, you know, been able to realize, oh, it's not, it's not, this is not about me. It's about them, whatever it is, you know, whatever difficulty it is, it's about them. It's not about me. I've got my own stuff that I have to deal with and that's their stuff. And, and, and I do feel that way, but sometimes you forget and sometimes it's just hard to put into practice. Um, so, um, uh, for those of you, I don't know if you've heard of Eckhart Tolle, but um, I really like him. He's the one that wrote uh, The Power of Now. And um, it, he does kind of help me get back in the right frame of mind. If you've ever listened to him, though, he's very, he's very calm and sedate. And he has, I can't remember where he's from. I think he's from Germany. I can't remember. But he has this accent. And he's very calm and he doesn't get excited, you know, and so I love his books and I've listened to a couple of his audiobooks, but he's very like sedate. So you might need some coffee when you listen. But anyway, um, well, first I'll, I'll get to him in a second. Sorry, I'm, I'm going in circles here. All right. So what I thought would be very pertinent to this conversation, and I know many of you have probably heard this before, is um, uh a passage from Khalil Gibran's um, prophet um, about parents, no, children, it's on children, okay, and I'm not going to read the entire thing because I don't want to get too flowery or, flowery or anything like that, but this, it was just kind of like the kind of 
reminder that I need and that we probably all need as parents, okay? So your children are not your children. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts, for they have their own thoughts. Imagine that. You may house their bodies, but not their souls. You may strive to be like them, but seek not to make them like you. You are the bows from which your children as fleeting arrows are sent forth. So yeah, that is just, and I've always tried to remind myself of that when, you know, maybe things are going a certain way um, that, uh, you know, you don't expect or, you know, that you didn't realize that you had an expectation that you weren't even really thinking about until things don't go that way. And you just have to realize that's, that's their path. That's. I have to worry about me and what I can control. And um, that is, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it's really, it's difficult. It's challenging. It produces growth. That's what it is. That's what it is. How many minutes? I don't know. I'm at 11 minutes here. This one's not going to be very long, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it with a couple of quotes from Eckhart Tolle that are um, good, good stuff here. Okay, so one is, um, sometimes letting things go is an act of far greater power than defending or hanging on. Accept, then act. Whatever the present moment contains, accept it as if you had chosen it. Always work with it, not against it. Make it your friend and ally, not your enemy. This will miraculously transform your whole life. And this I really love here. This is a good reminder for me. Life isn't as serious as the mind makes it out to be. That's good stuff, huh? Yeah, because that, that night of my verbal diarrhea, my mind just went like down this path. I mean, I started going into things like, you know, when I was talking about all the change and everything, I started like going into like stuff about Disneyland. I mean, Disneyland is like, isn't my favorite place. And, you know, when my dad was still here, we all used to go as a family, go to Disneyland. And this last time, um, it was just, myself my mom and my daughter because my husband's getting where he can't really tolerate the rides anymore and um so we just did a girls trip but it was it was really i'm not gonna say hard but it was not easy because it just wasn't the same um you know my son wasn't there either. My husband wasn't there. My dad wasn't there. And so I was just like, I don't even know how Disneyland's going to be anymore because, you know, you can't go on the rides anymore. And it's just going to be me and Chloe. And I, I mean, it was just like everything, all of this crap was just, just like pouring out of my mouth. It was crazy. So life isn't as serious as the mind makes it out to be. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I always ask for comments. I didn't, I know my last one was kind of like out there. I didn't get any comments on that one. They were probably like, Shelly, what, what is this? So if you could comment below, if you can relate, let me know some other things that um, you do that help you with changes that are maybe uncomfortable for you, um, how you deal with it. Um, and because I'm like in the middle of this, this process where, you know, our son is already out and about, but our daughter's in transition. And so it's like looking ahead to what, what life is going to hold 
after parenthood. <laughs> I welcome any and all advice and comments on that. So uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Well, this won't be the weekend by the time I get this up, but enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I'll talk to you next time.